I asked Professor Gray to tell us why she thinks that grammar is so important for English learners. She said that grammar allows us to express complex ideas. Why do you think it's important to teach grammar to students? Well, grammar is one part of language that allows us to convey complex ideas. When we have vocabulary items, we can convey a single idea or a simple item. And we can convey a lot of information with vocabulary items. And, of course, we need a lot of vocabulary in order to use grammar effectively. But grammar allows us to express ideas that are larger than a single concept or a single item. For example, grammar allows us to express meanings about time, such as through the use of different verb tenses or modal verbs. Grammar allows us to show the relationships between things. The sentence, I took the cookies to her, means something different than the sentence, I took the cookies away from her. We can even use grammar to convey pragmatic meanings like politeness. For example, many people would view a request stated as a question as being more polite than a request stated as a command. So, would you mind passing me the cookies? Would be considered more polite than, pass me the cookies, please. Grammar is about how we combine individual words into these larger, meaningful units. It is how we combine words into phrases, and then how we combine phrases into clauses or sentences. When we do that, we can do things like talk about what happened yesterday or what will happen tomorrow. It is how we can indicate that we're stating something instead of asking a question or that we're making a request. So when we study grammar, we're looking at how words relate to other words in systematic ways so that we can convey a particular meaning and often complex meaning. Grammar is clearly very important. I asked Professor Gray what teachers need to know about grammar. She emphasized some of the characteristics of grammar and ways of talking about it. What's the most important thing for teachers to understand about grammar? There are two major ways of thinking about grammar. The first one is a prescriptive approach to grammar. In a prescriptive approach, grammar is seen as a set of rules that tell speakers and writers how they should use language, what's right and what's wrong. An example of a prescriptive rule is something like, don't end a sentence with a preposition, or don't end a sentence with words like in, on, or for. Many prescriptive rules are fairly arbitrary, meaning that there's not a good reason for the rule. And it turns out that many of these prescriptive rules about language don't match how real speakers and writers actually use language. For example, despite that prescriptive rule, it's quite common for speakers to say something like, who are you going with? Or, I'm moving in. That brings us to the second approach, which we call a descriptive approach to grammar. This approach means exactly what it sounds like. We want to describe how speakers and writers actually use language. We want to identify patterns to show what real life language is really like. When we do this, we find out that it's actually pretty common for speakers to end some sentences with a preposition, especially questions. When we teach grammar explicitly, we need to negotiate between descriptive and prescriptive grammar. We do have to teach rules. Some structures are possible in English, and some are not. But we also want to teach people to use language in a way that's natural and authentic, and not focus on rules that are arbitrary.